Rubin, and I'm here at the 2012 Festival of Quilts in Birmingham, England. I'd like to take you on a little journey here to see some of my favorite quilts at this show. Come on, let's go. This beautiful art quilt has a Scottish thistle that is in various shades of unfolding and going to seed. It's hand painted and stitched by machine. This beautiful large quilt has whirling and twirling uh, patterns of color and it's called the snake goddess. This quilt is called Impressions of Rajasthan, and if you look closely, you'll see that not only does it have eye-popping color combinations, but it has a, almost a sashiko-type stitching that goes throughout the quilt, and hand-stamped images of elephants, and birds, and flowers. This piece is not so much a quilt as an experience. I feel like I've gone into a shop in uh, Harry Potter. There are little fetishes, Egyptian uh, collected pieces, runes. I mean, take a look at all these tiny little details. It's like walking into a closet full of trinkets that somebody's been collecting for 50 years. I love the large full-scale figure too. This larger-than-life piece is called Between the Sheets and it's full of mysterious layers and secrets. I would call this more fiber art than quilt, which is a good thing because if you take a close look here, there is such an interesting collage going on in the border. And then we have the frayed edges of the uh, linen background, buttons, beads, and then in the center uh, almost looks like strips of copper, but it's really a specialized metallic yarn. And the yarns have all been woven together and then stitched together. It's so creative, such an innovative use of color and texture. This very interesting 3D textural piece is called lichen, and it's using crochet and stitching and yarns to create a very organic form and layers and layers of uh, very natural looking details. Here's a piece that's attracted a lot of attention at the show. I've watched people coming by and saying, wow, look at those colors. It's called Hyde Park 1973, and I guess it's a post-psychedelic piece. This piece reminds me of one of the top winning quilts at the Tokyo Quilt Festival this year. It has swirls of hand-painted glittering iridescent fish on kind of a tie-dyed background with lots of metallic stitching on top. This piece is called Three Indian Women, and it has a very intimate feel as if you're following behind these three women and you might catch a conversation in the next few moments. The bright colors really pull you in, but when you get close, you see that there's lots of detail in the background. There's layers of text and stitching and analogous colors. Very beautiful. This is a dreamy, evocative triptych called a Sad Tales for Winter. And it shows very abstract figures walking on the beach. And you really have a sense of just being out on the coast on a winter's day. This is Julia's Venetian traveling quilt. It's very charming. It has a quality like a sketchbook, a travel sketchbook. And take a close look at the linen applique and the uh, very loose thread painting and the outline of the figures. And a very uh, kind of rustic linen border around the edge. I like it a lot. This is a very evocative piece that has layers and layers of meaning and color. It reminds me of the Templar Knights. It's called About Face. And if you look closely, the eyes are very realistic and there is a lace applique that goes over the whole figure. I love looking closely at this Eastern theme quilt, which is called Tara. Take a look at all the beautiful, rich, deep, saturated hand eyes, the feathery, multicolor, free motion quilting. And look at the basket weave or lattice work of ribbon that holds the two parts of the quilt together. The figure is multicolor and very balanced and symmetrical, and uh, there's just a lot of symmetry and balance and peace in this beautiful quilt. This piece is very innovative. It has many shades of gray, maybe even 50 shades of gray. It has strips, and it's woven and looped, and then hand-stitched loosely on top, and I would say it's very contemporary, and I'm happy to see it here. It's so different. Mm -hmm. 